Well, we'll call this an experiment. The sun has gone down on the Sabbath and I've come out to take care of the filling up the wood burner and getting that all filled up for tonight. I, uh, it's been a pretty interesting day. They've uh, spotted a meteor in the air that uh, was supposed to come between us and the moon today and skirt past. I haven't heard any information on it all afternoon. I'm kind of trying to keep an eye out for it and stuff. I mean, as exciting as yesterday was with all of the sightings of objects in the sky that don't belong there. Well, of course they belong there. God puts everything in the sky. And he said he put the sun and the moon and the stars. All of them are placed in the sky as signs to give us seasons, but also to give us signs. And he's sure been giving us a lot of signs lately. I, uh, you know, I've come across quite a few YouTube channels that have, you know, different types of ministries. You know, some of them are, keep track of these signs in the skies. And uh, some would say that, you know, when you're dealing with that, it's all spiritual and you can't really combine the two that the spiritual doesn't manifest into the natural and I, I beg to differ. I've seen some, I've seen some pretty amazing things lately that, uh, well, God's the only way I could explain them. The way he's been kind of leading me in all of this with everything he's been showing me and I assure you it's not just through videos and uh, online and stuff I've been in a lot of prayer a lot of uh, a lot of study in scripture a lot of study in Hebrew to make sure we have the interpretation right you can see this uh, this takes quite a bit of doing to get this thing filled up for a night especially when the temperature drops down into the teens and 20s like it quite possibly could tonight and forgive me for losing my breath but I guess talking and Filling up this furnace at the same time is a bit of a challenge, but I think I just about got it. Let's get a nice knotty one in there to burn a good long time. I believe I got all that. I'll spin the camera around and let you see the beast that I just fed. She's a beast. There's the beast that I just fed. Here, I'll show you the and uh and i just fed her with all that wood in there she'll keep us warm overnight in case i uh, wondered how that worked those of you that knew the situation i have got the thing fixed the stuff that was wrong with it in the past with it leaking water we were having to fill it up with water oh way too often hey girls filling it up twice a day there at the end well what it was was a coupling in the back where it feeds water into and circulates throughout the house that uh, plastic coupling just would not tighten onto the brass fitting any longer and it's a rigid plastic pipe that goes underground so replacing it wasn't easy so the Lord showed me a few tricks I went back there and did it and my golly, she sealed up pretty good, and we're doing pretty good now with keeping it working, so praise be to God. Now, uh, as long as winter doesn't last too long, and 
run out of wood, but I know that the Lord will take care of us. That's the thing when you give your life over to Him. Some say that it gets harder because you come under attack. And you do. You come under attack quite heavily. But in in the case, in my case, I, I, I have to lean on the Lord for so much that I lean on Him for that too. And I just take it for what it's worth and and uh, just trust Him. I, maybe I'm cheating because I, I have no choice. I, I trust in the Lord. Where else am I going to go? You know, where else am I going to go? I'm not going to put my faith in neither an object in the sky nor any man but the moment I see Christ coming in the clouds I'll sing hallelujah with the rest of you God bless you amen and keep your eyes open